All right, so we want to drop off practically everything uh, that we have spares of. I know I have spares of like a number of these things, but more or less, I want to fill these. Uh, I want to fill these storage containers with enough uh, spare resources. In retrospect, we don't need the sack venom, so I'm actually going to take them out. Because if I remember right, checking this, yeah, this needs thamium and antrium, which is actually super nice. It means I can get rid of the. Uh, it, it means I can sell sack venom whenever I want. You know, I should actually look at this at some point and see... I don't think it ever sells or buys anything for... Stop. Wait, what? Why is it so... Why does it want grant? That's weird. Okay, I'm not going to think about that. Okay. Uh, let's see. So let's take the other sack venom. I'll have to figure out... Uh, we've got... To Miriam. Uh, let's move over the Antrium for the time being. Because I know we're always going to need more of that. Uh, let's see, Spadonium. Yeah, so I want to collect a, an amount of this stuff, just so if my base does get nuked again, I can get all my resources back, no problem. Okay, we also had a bunch of Emerald there. Uh, let's check the Starship. We've got a fair bit here, too. Let's grab the Emerald, the Spadonium. Ah, Sack Venom, I can get rid of that, too. Uh, let's see, anything else sitting around in here that I don't particularly need, but I have a supply of? Not really, we'll figure it out. Okay, am I playing this with or without mods? Currently, no mods. Uh, I'll probably throw mods on later on as they update, but I haven't really run into a whole lot of mods that I'm feeling particularly in need of. Um, so I just decided to... I, I, I've decided to nix mods for at least a little while. We'll, we'll do it later. But I'm waiting for some of the updates to roll out and stuff. I Mostly I want the mod manager to actually get updated. But yeah, I, I would like to uh, I would like to mod it at some point. I was really enjoying the big mountains and who knows, maybe maybe I'll sit down towards the end of this and just be like, alright, time to mod the crap out of this. Uh, it's just today, meh. Today I'm in... Ultra relaxy, super tired, don't want to think about stuff mode. Uh, so one thing I will make note, I made a lot of money between uh, between episodes. So if you look up in my units, I've got 62 million uh, units now as opposed to whatever I had before, which was not nearly as much. How much is it required to make a Corzagon plant? 100. Oof. Yeah. I want to have at least 100. Because I'd hate to have to go hunting for that stuff. Grow a little bit faster, please. It'd be much appreciated. Okay, so let's let's start let's start with the simple stuff right now. Uh, it's this. Okay. Where? What? Oh. Oh, we know it's probably under cuboid rooms. Yeah, there it is. Okay. There we go. So we want to build this. We want to build four of this. We don't need to, but I like the idea of having a greenhouse. Oops. Uh, I like the idea of having a greenhouse that is... Oh. 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 That's interesting. Okay, hold on. I did things wrong. Okay. Show me your blueprints. Can I get a rounded corner? Do they not have rounded corners as one of these? We want to buy the recipe for interior. Oh, we already know that one. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, seeing as I've got all of this money, let's make sure we have everything learned. Because pretty much what I'm going to be doing past this point is flying around looking for wrecked ships and whatnot. I guess I'll buy colored lights. I'm not exactly a fan of them, but I also don't care too much. Large wedge, small wedge. Yeah, so apparently you can't do a, a uh, rounded building corner. That's really weird. Okay, so now we know every everything from this guy. So we never even have to look at him again. Okay. So if you notice, I actually built this wrong. Uh, we can make that kind of rounded corner, but I wanted like a rounded off corner. 
like a proper rounded corner as opposed to whatever this is, but no dice. Okay, so I want to... Well, this is bizarre. Okay. Let's start with this, then. Yeah, a fully glass cube should do it. And then rotate there. Okay, so it's a little funky. But it's better than what we had. Okay, and I can't build anymore until we get some more, uh, Grizzagon. Which sucks, but... It's normal, I guess? Okay. <sighs> so what do we do now? I've got a bunch of junk in my inventory we should probably just sell. We should probably just le- uh, I don't know. I don't know where I want to go necessarily. We want to find crashed ships, probably. Okay, so let's let's sell some things. So we don't need Iridium. I've got a bunch of it. I'll hold on to the Chrysonite, probably. Uh, iron. We don't need that much iron. Or Heridium. Honestly, we could probably just sell all of the Heridium. And let's just sell all of the iron. I can get way more of it whenever I want. Okay, that's a bit better. Let's take a look at the ship. So we've got 500 spidonium, spidonium there. That... I don't think we need this much platinum. Either. Uh... What do we have in the freighter right now? We've got a ton of album and pearls, a bunch of nickel, a bunch of iridium, gold. Uh, iridium, copper, nickel, gold, and some aluminum. Okay, so let's let's move over. Let's just move over. Whatever. Okay, so we probably don't need to move the platinum over or the iridium. But, like, aluminum we're pretty low on. Uh, what else do we have? I don't feel like moving over any more titanium. Nickel we could. We don't need any... Uh, we don't need a transfer detritum. And we have all that copper wire that we don't really have much of a use for. Okay, screw it. Uh, let's just clear out my starship inventory. So, Chris Knight I'm gonna hold on to because that's a bit rarer. Platinum... Let's hold on to, like, a bit of it. Okay, is that it? Because we've got s some thamium, some copper, some platinum. Armadium, which I don't know if we need armadium immediately, but still. Okay. What did that... That did transfer to my inventory. Okay, cool. So let's just sell everything. So, uh, let's see. There was a question of, uh... There's a question of what's the, uh, what's the turnover rate? Uh, like, videos from these streams onto the channel. And the answer is about... It varies, honestly, series to series. I would say anywhere from a week or two to months sometimes. Usually, usually the month turnover rates are because, uh, because I've recorded so much of a thing that I have, like, a crazy, crazy backlog for it. That's always kind of a fun, uh, fun thing, though, from my perspective. I don't know. I, I like, uh, I like having a month-long backlog. It makes my life so much easier. I should probably stop picking up this Mordite. Really, at this point, the only thing I want to be farming is maybe Candesium and, uh, mostly Chrysonite. So let's see what we got up top, and then assuming... Oh, yep, we do have some Corzagon, Kors, right. Not Chris and I. Yeah, we want as much uh, Corzagon as we can possibly grab. I'm just gonna throw it away in one of the one of the storage boxes here. I think it was you. And then I think I might actually go checking for uh, facilities. Not that I actually remember how to do any of them, but still. Okay, so sell, sell the Mordite. So the copyright. Oh, uh, shoot. Maybe I shouldn't have sold all that uh, platinum. Okay, whatever. I can buy a decent amount of it back. Not that it's a big financial hit. I'll take the plutonium while we're here too. Anything else that they they sell here? Thamium. 
Oh, that's why the, I can sell Grantine to them, because they have Grantine. That's funny. Okay. Well, now that I've done that, I'm going to switch around. There we go. My tabs on my browser were kind of messy. Okay, so where's my, um, where's my Colossus? There we are. Nope, that didn't work. That worked. Okay. So let's hop in here. Now, I, I did find a mod that actually boosts the signal booster on these guys, which is kind of tempting, but I don't really care. Not right now, anyway. So let's use this. Let's search for... Oh, interesting. Uh, let's scan for an abandoned building, for starters. I'm pretty much not going to be able to drive to it, so we're just going to fly there. Where's my jetpack out? I have no idea. All right, whatever. Let's go. Let's go explore Nathan for the time being. Wait, really? It's right there. Oh. Oh. This calls for a completely different vehicle. I probably should have checked how close how close by we were going. But I wasn't paying attention. And I'm a whoops. Eh, whatever. Not a big deal. Oh. It wasn't going to let me land for whatever reason. Stupid game. I should probably uh, get the resources to get a landing pad or something. Come on. This is my home. There we go. <laughs> it's going to be real pissy if it wasn't going to let me land at my, my home base. Okay, so yeah. Huh. I don't remember flying the okay, whatever. Alright, let's uh Let's get over to this abandoned building. No idea what it might be. Probably nothing particularly special. But I think this is one of the good places to get nanites from. So, I don't know, whatever. The other thing I want to look for is uh, transmission towers, actually. If we can start finding some transmission towers around here. Whoa, terrain over here is kind of funkalicious. That's weird looking. Oh, geez, is my computer chugging really hard? Okay. So I think we're, I think we're good. Let's start moving at high speeds and hope hopefully... This game doesn't just max out. It's using a lot of my CPU moving around here. Which is kind of nuts. I don't know why. Eh, we'll see. Yeah. I got a pretty beefy rig, but right now this thing is, uh... This thing is actually taking, like, 50 to 60% of my CPU right now. Which is kind of nuts. Anyway, uh, we'll make it work for as long as we can, and, uh, if it's not gonna behave tonight, then I'll get it working for next time. I don't know! Anyway, what was that? Did I run over... Oh. Huh. Well, that's a new one. I crashed on an albumin pearl. I'll summon that there and let's start, uh... Let's do some interstellar crimes. We need more more of these anyway. Um, uh, Let's destroy this bush so it's not in the way. Same thing with this bush. Seems like a good idea. I don't know why it's an interstellar crime to open up in, uh, albumin pearls or steal them, but hey, I can't complain. Gets me some tech chips anyway, so let's grab every one of them. Technically, it'd actually be best if we uh, poached them. Uh, it'd be nice if we could actually poach them uh, just a little bit here and there and like kind of pace out. Because I would actually like to... Uh... Wow, he was hugging me hard. Uh, I would actually like to... What are we... I was inside of a bush? Well, that sucks. There we go. Uh, yeah, so we we got inside a bush just as we were about to kill that guy. And then it's just like, nope, you're mining bush now. And it's like, ugh, come on. This is not what I'm looking for. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see, where's the other? There it is. Yeah, we want nanite cl clusters, and those are a good source of it. Okay, can I? No. For whatever reason, it kind of looked like it was harvestable there. 
Okay, yeah, it looks like whatever this was... Is, was, whatever. We're in a fine spot. Oh. What is in this thing's inventory? Oh, plutonium and a little bit of iridium. Okay, not, not a big deal. So let's get back out and over here and on with our lives. Yeah, I have a pretty decent computer, but honestly, I think I actually need to get a new one. I'll probably look into getting a, a better computer come um, the fall or something like that. Seems reasonable. I was considering moving, but YouTube's uh, YouTube hasn't been paying as well lately. My, my views are down by about a million. That's actually a pretty significant drop as far as things go, you know. Fallout and Scrap Mechanic no longer uh, just completely overinflate everything for me. So, life is a little bit tougher, but still hardly a problem. Okay, this should be good enough. Whee! Yeah, a bunch of Rygogen floating around out here. Let's see if I can get as we go down. I think I can refill my, like, life support or oxygen or something. Well, we can always just bop up to the surface for a moment and scoot forward a little bit for more. The other thing is we don't really need to care too much about, uh... We don't need to care too much about Rygogen. It's nice, but it's not that helpful. Past this point, we've already got most of the things built. I think Rygogen is largely a uh, farming-related plant. I could be wrong, though. Okay. Yeah, so I'll check this out, and then we're probably going to start slapping down transmission towers and looking... Or not... Uh, what are they, like beacons or something? But I'll start looking for transmission towers so we can get... Uh, so we can get our hands on... Um, ah! That is weird-looking. Huh. I wonder if I'm going to drown like this. Let's see if there's air in here. There is not. Well. Analyze data, data log. Oh. Drowning is hardly a problem. It's not Legend of Zelda. So, yeah. What, what's happening here is we're just taking smidgely little bits of uh, drowning damage. Constantly. But, like, all I have to do is just refill my, uh, shields. <laughs> this is goofy. Yeah, can we have underwater bases? I don't think you can have an un underwater base yet. I think you can have an under underwater base soon, maybe? I, I can imagine it's going to be a feature they add later. But more so than that, they're probably going to have a, uh, a mod for it. Or somebody's going to make a mod for it. And that'll be about good enough. Okay, so let's let's head home. I don't think we actually learned anything useful from that. We did get a bunch of album in pro oh, oh wait, no. That's like a weird island thing over here. For a second I thought there was like a truly ginormous fish. Oh, life support also drains quicker. Eh. Not really a big worry of mine. Okay, so yeah, let's let's get back. Okay, so you, wow, uh, holy crap! Using that boost is kind of expensive. Go figure. I I run out of power on this thing. Let's see. So yeah, let's let's look around. We got some more album and pearls, but I kind of don't care. I'm just gonna store them away in a, uh, the ones that I currently have away in a box. So if we do if we do run into troubles again. Uh, with my base disappearing, we should have a, a much better, like, start than last time. Yeah, so, boosting is expensive. I guess it makes sense. I really actually wish, uh... I actually really wish this game didn't have a fuel system after a certain point. It just feels kind of like a... I'm not gonna say a waste, it just... it's a pain in the butt. And, like, they don't deplete fast enough for it to actually be demanding. They're just kind of there every once in a while to be like, well, there goes like 300 plutonium fueling everything back up. 
But I guess that's kind of how real life works. It's like, you're not really churning through too much, uh... You're not really churning through that much gas. And then you're like, oh shoot, I've only got like two bars left on the gas tank. Guess I need to finally go fill up. I have a really boring life. It's a fun life, but it's not exactly the most uh, dramatic. Let me tell you. Mostly it's just tired. I am tired. Nice to meet you. Okay, so let's let's drop off these pearls. At the very least. Uh, is this? No, this is not the pearl depo depository. Are you the? You are. There we go. Here we've got like Pugnium, bunch of nanite cl clusters, but they're not particularly useful. Okay. Yeah, I'm totally exhausted. I got up at eight today. Uh, so I got. I mean, that's like twelve hours ago. That's not so bad, but like, I usually get up at like one in the afternoon. So getting up at eight today is uh, pure torture. Um, but yeah, I got up st stupid early to go to a convention, and mainly I'm just there to support Shell, which is totally fine, but does make me kind of a tired putz for the rest of the day. And boy, am I. Okay, uh, so we really don't care about most of these things right now. So let's just, uh, let's go up. We've got, we've got some album and pearls. I guess what I'll do is probably just stack ten in that, uh, in that one storage thing. Oh, shoot, did I? I missed. Okay, I assume I can't get one of these down yet. We don't have enough Thamium, Carbon, or Corey I'm not sure. Doesn't matter, eventually I'll fill that whole thing up. Okay, uh, well, I guess I'll just put in the Corzagon. There, that's enough for two plants. Honestly, of all the resources I have, it's probably actually the most, uh, it's probably the most useful. It's got a pretty good conversion rate, uh, money-wise, and glasses, always super handy. Uh, did I put Rygogen in here? Okay, I did. I think Rygogen's dropped off in useful usefulness, but still. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we've got that taken care of. We wanted to do tech. It is tech, right? Not a beacon. Signal booster. So I need 50 iron. Hey, eh, you're in the right spot. I'm just leaving... I'm just leaving this sucker here to get me iron whenever I need it. I don't know if it's actually any faster or slower than my my weapons, uh, like my my standard multi-tool, but it doesn't cost me any power, so I vastly kind of prefer this sort of thing. It'd be really neat if somebody actually introduced like an RPG mod to this game. I'd be super down with that. Oh no, whatever will I do? Well, I guess we got some more Pugnium to deal with, and whatever's in here. Hopefully just nanites. Yeah, it looks like it's nothing but nanites. Okay, so... Should be able to just put down that signal booster now, yeah? No. Oh, right! Because these guys don't have wireless inventories. As silly as that sounds. Honestly, all of those are kind of useless right now. Okay. There we are, signal boosters. So we want to find transmission towers. Uh, which is Colonial Outposts. We don't really need dr well, eh, drop pods aren't bad. So that's an op center. Actually, I actually haven't gone, uh, gone to one of those now that they've managed things. Okay, uh, just drop pod. That's like on the other side of the planet. All right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna hop in the Nomad as the last thing. Okay, because we want to do scan. I don't really care about depots, resources. We could do another drop pod. Let's do another abandoned building. As long as it doesn't bring me back to the one that's like right over here. I think we're good. Okay, cool. So now they're all marked to the map so we can go around. Yeah, so that's what uh, my Colossus is going to be. A mobile scanning tower. Which is really dumb, honestly. Like, 
<laughs> I I like the vehicles, but part of it is we're on an aquatic planet, so it's a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, I want to say the signal booster actually brought me to the uh, told me to go to the abandoned building. That's a bit lame. <laughs> this isn't pre-recorded, right? Man. People pre-record these? I guess they do. That's such a weird feeling though. I guess I could I I could see it in like a couple of very limited senses. I'm I wish there was like a way to toggle the the shift button honestly. All right, whatever. Um but yeah, just the idea of somebody pre-recording something and then streaming that. I guess I could see it for like the odd time where you need kind of like filler content. Okay, this is really stupid. Let's let's go up into space for a moment. It's probably more than enough space. Okay, so that's the abandoned building, I think, that it wanted me to go for. There's the stuff. Yeah, this is so much faster. I gotta remember, just go up into the Go up into space, actually do space things. We might need to pick up some, um... We might need to pick up some plutonium while we're here. Yeah, we're gonna need more. Okay, hello, that is a very brightly colored base. Oh! Ah, dang it! I was in the, uh, I was, I was in the X menu there. And it was just like, you're just gonna keep flying. I kind of wish, uh, the X menu was a little bit more context- context sensitive. Cause, like, I do something and then it just stays open forever and it's like, no, don't do that. Alright, anyway, let's, uh, let's murder some sentinels. Man, he just took it. Are they... I'm just like I'm just gonna be on a quick old murder spree. Short one, but you know, it's about the same. Okay. Let's see pre-recordings with tournaments. Well, yeah, that makes sense. So you can kind of edit it and stuff like that. Okay. See, now we've got the sentinels coming in. Kind of wish you didn't have to press R to reload in this game. I don't know, I, I understand that's kind of like an old school thing to do. It's still shitty and annoying more than anything else. Any reasonable person would, instead of trying to keep shooting despite having nothing, would probably reload, yeah? I don't know, maybe it's just me. I also really wish I could actually, like, mess with reload times and stuff like that. You know, customize the guns a little bit more than, than I already do. Can't, I don't know, whatever. Okay. Good. We got plenty of nanites. At some point, we're we're gonna be able to go back up into uh, uh, some of those space stations and actually be like, yeah, there's stuff here that we can buy. All right. So toxic. Um, automatic processes scramble the output of the terminal. I can make it a few words, but the rest is lost in static. Uh, let's try gas. If it says toxic. Okay. Yep. We're good. Okay, hey, hey, Jetpack Booster Sigma. Finally, wow. You guys do not know how long I've been waiting for one of those. All right, uh, so I got the Jetpack Booster Sigma. You know what, I'm gonna put it over here. We're gonna need a Karite sheet. Yeah, I've been waiting for a Jetpack Booster for ages. Oh, and we got this here. Let's see, uh, you should go to the Galactic Hub, nope. I see no reason for going to the Galactic Hub. It seems like a pointless waste of time with nothing particularly that, uh, useful there. Someday, maybe, if they, like, kind of enhance it. But as it stands, the Galactic Hub just seems like it's a... It's a waste of time. I'd rather mess around with sandbox stuff and find cool things. I'm not entirely sure that... Whoa! Interesting, that thing gets rid of grass beneath it. That's funky. 
All right, let's get another uh, colonial outpost. Okay, so let's get up into space and figure out what the what the plan is. Question is, nope. Oh, okay. Okay, so what do we got around here? So we've got our base. We've got that base. I swear I had... We have a drop pod here. Where's the other one? I have no idea. I'm really confused. Maybe we should just leave. It's not actually a bad idea for me to just leave, honestly. Because, like... We are looking for new things in other places. Wow, this drop pod is a ways away. I really wish this thing would actually have like a, um, what am I thinking? I mean, just autopilot. I guess the problem is though, if you have like a direct autopilot, players would very, very easily and very quickly just be like, well, I'm just gonna set auto on here and walk off for a while and you know, you kind of, uh, eliminate any need for gameplay. Which is maybe a little bit excessive. Okay, wow. I did not realize it, but pressing shift actually makes you go three times faster. I need to get the, uh, I, I actually need to get the, the mod that makes it so you go just probably two times faster by default. I think that would be agreeable to me. And, look at that, uh, for fortuitousness. Free platinum. Or not platinum. Plutonium. I'm tired. I'm gonna be mix mixing up a bunch of words today. Alright. Uh, so I really don't need more backpack upgrades. In fact, can I? Yeah, okay. I don't remember what the max exosuit suit slots are. Exosuit? Yeah. Messing up words today. Alright, so we've got that. Oh. Right. Have to actually interact with it. Let's see, so it, it's just telling me about the one I've already been to. Is that literally the only one left on the planet? We can always leave and come back and do other things. Okay, so let's try Colonial Outpost. See if it gets me anything new or if it just points me back to the one we've already seen. Alright, that's a new that's a new op center. Oh, 42 slots is the max. Radio then. Okay, and a drop pod. So that actually should max out our, uh... That should max out our inventory. That's kind of neat. Uh, let's see. Haven't tried yet, but can you put in multiple warp cells and hop multiple times? Yep. Uh, well, no. You you still come out of, uh, warp space, but... Or hyperspace, but you can go back in. It'd be nice if you could chart a corpse, course and, like go real far, but honestly, once you have, like, the first or second warp upgrade, uh, it's actually really, really fast. Come on. I'm trying to speed boost here. There we are. Oh, it's 48 slots, not 42. Okay, so we won't be maxing out our slots immediately. What is that? Oh, it's that there. Guess we went a little bit fast. Uh, a little bit far, a little bit too fast. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Unless this is the... No, this is the drop pod we've already been to. Also, it pisses me off. I already built the jetpack uh, booster Sigma, and it's actually telling me, it's like, build one more carrot she sheet to to build in your inventory. And it's like... I, I, I like the fact that they added uh, tracking to this game. Don't get me wrong. It's just like, have a little bit of a brain here. I wonder if I can actually turn on the, um... Is there a way to change your objective tracking? Log? Okay, can I get rid of this? Uh, okay, so it's under log, because I've already built this. It won't let me. Ah. Uh... Thank you. Alright, we'll just make uh, one random care ice sheet. Oh, it wants me to gather one. What? That's stupid. 
This is stupid. So if I figured out how to take uh, buggies with me to other planets. Nope. Uh, as far as I can tell, that's... It might actually even be available to me. The only reason why I don't want to do it is uh, it's on the beta branch of this game. So if you, if you do want to be able to take your land vehicles with you, I think you can just opt in and uh, maybe even get the ability immediately. The only reason why I don't want to do that is uh, I kind of would rather just be able to mod the game. Because honestly, land vehicles are nice, but I mostly use them as a... Uh, I mostly use them as uh, gathering platforms, and I'm really only doing gathering on. Um, I'm only doing gathering on this planet because there's Rygogen. At this point, we don't need more resources. We need to fly around and scout for stuff. I'm more or less looking for uh, transmission towers, actually. But you can deconstruct your pad and construct it anywhere. No, you can construct it on another base anywhere. And it looks like we're maxing our CPU again. Ah, uh, only for a bit. I guess whenever it's like loading a new area. I'll have to I'll have to take a look at it. Come on, game, don't just Okay, are we landing or are we just like slowly just crashing into the ground? I don't know, it's confusing. Yeah, so it looks like uh, going in and out of the atmosphere is screwing it up. I, the uh, the other alternative we have here to um, the weird bouts of lag is restarting my whole computer. Which would make no sense because I restarted it right before this session. I don't know, we'll figure it out for next time. What's this? Eh, just more viridium. I wonder if that, that uh, replaced emerald along the way. But yeah, as far as as far as I've run into, you can't just immediately make a, a vehicle platform on any other planet. You have to have a base down first. And I really don't want to lose my base. Because I like my current one. And it's very expensive replacing them. So I want to find some more multi-tools here. I'm hoping some of these colony bases aren't just op centers. They're the ones with the dudes sitting around uh, inside because those have a higher chance of having a multi-tool in them. We tested it. Eh. Maybe I'll rip up the uh, Nomad and we'll see if it works. Because I don't use the Nomad that much and having it available for sort of exploration would be nice. Okay. Warning. Time. Okay, so temporal capacitor probably. Yep. Okay. Oh, it was a time loop. I probably should read the flavor text. Anyway, we now know how to make magmox, which really I don't think that actually helps in any way, shape, or form. I think that's just a uh, a weird little benefit. Okay. So got like a little bit of thamium here and there. Ugh. Worth coming out for just like a smidge. I guess it's not. Just a smidge. It's not a big deal. Let's see. Will I be playing around with the base parts? Yep. I'm just killing some time while we wait for things to regrow. So nothing's more dull and uninteresting. I didn't mean to shoot him. I just want to scan him. Okay. Anything else particularly useful around here? Have I scanned you? Yeah, I've, I've scanned you. I've scanned you before. I guess we should probably hit the beacon here, otherwise it's just going to have me come back. Okay, there we go. But yeah, uh, I want to mess around with the base part, but we need more... Uh, we need more glass. More Cory Zagan. So I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to farm some more of that. So let's get the platinum over here. Oh, what? What? On the other side of Grass Tuft. Alright, uh, so we want to do... Probably another signal booster. Let's just keep looking for drop pods and bases. Let's do a colonial outpost for... For the beginning. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately it seems to be nothing but manufacturing facilities. I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit more, um... 
varied in its usefulness. Okay, so I think I can look for another drop pod here. Let's see. Wonder if, uh... Hmm. The other thing I'm thinking about is, like, if I just get, like, a thousand Rygogen, I bet we wouldn't need that much more. It might... I don't know, it might be worth looking into... ...getting a, uh... Let's just go up into space. It'll be faster. I don't know. I'm still not entirely, uh, down for this being my, like, permanent home planet. But also the, uh... The act of, like, replacing it would be kind of a pain in the butt. It'd be nice if you could actually have multiple bases for multiple reasons. Like that, oh, that would be so nice, like, if you could teleport between them, so you could have, like, you know, effectively your, like, Hoth base, your Endor base, stuff like that. I guess they never really had a base on Endor. Uh, they didn't even have a base on the moon of Endor. Uh, the Empire did. Ah, eh, whatever, these are semantics, silly semantics. Yeah, so it looks like whenever we're coming back down onto a planet, it kind of screws up a little bit. Now, this area seems to be filled with jerkwads. Dead jerkwads. Oh. That's not the variety that's particularly violent here. What? Even you? Alright, you die, then I scan you. Unfortunately, its hitbox is really short, so instead of killing it, I'm just... If I scanned this? I have no idea if I scanned him or not. I guess we've scanned him. Oh yeah, we, we have. Oh, it's giving me the confirmation for it. Okay, well that's nice. Is the signal booster on your exocraft is better and free. Sort of. It doesn't actually show me where manufacturing facilities are, from what I remember. Oh, come on. This is my fault for not, uh... I don't want to charge my mining beam, you daft game. Okay. Probably shouldn't have used up the Thamium, but I guess it's not a big deal. Oh yeah, they come in threes. Wait, did that door open there? Huh. That's weird. Okay, do I have it fully upgraded? I'd swear I did. Well, we can always go back and check once I'm done. I'm fairly certain I've got all three upgrades. In, and it doesn't let me scan for, uh... It doesn't let me scan for... Colonial bases of any variety or transmission towers. Uh, whereas the signal booster is actually free. You just have to have a couple of resources on hand to constantly remake it. At least that's been my general experience with it. Just build the boost, uh, signal booster. Oh, uh, what? What? Oh, there you are. Okay. It yeah, build the signal booster and then uh, use it and then scrap it again and just leave. Works out real well as far as I'm concerned. Okay. We got one more of these and hello. And yeah, one of the nice things is this is Corvax area, so I've got a fair amount of resources. Okay. Uh, machinery here is mining an asteroid for oxides. Process is stalled. Facility reeks of burnt metal and the floor is hot to the touch. I can direct automated repairs, but it's unclear where. Uh, repair the drill motor. I'll have to get some more language at some point. And we already know how to make that. Oh, that's okay. Anyway, um, let's go get the drop pod, I guess? Oh, yeah, let's get the, uh... Let's get the save file here. Just so it knows we've cleared this area. Okay, and where's my ship? Wow, don't you look derpy. Actually, I'm really impressed with how they generate animals in this game. All of them look a little stupid, but it's still kind of cool. Anyway, let's hop back in the fish. Oh, interesting that auto charges my shields. I like that.